All right, guys, I'm at 2772 um, Massachusetts, and um, this is a not a single lane, but not a very wide laned um, easement type driveway that comes up. There's a T right there where you come in, I think on Indiana. Um, I'm just showing you this because there isn't really a spot for street parking. And I'm gonna say people are pretty good about not parking on the street just to allow the neighbors in and out. Um, I came in at an angle. I think you could easily park two cars in this driveway. And I also am curious that maybe at this end where the leaves are here is part of it on your property, possibly where that cone is. So maybe there's a parking right there for you. You can see, you know, how the neighbors park in front of their house. Um, this neighborhood, I would say the majority of the houses were built by the same builder. The majority, maybe not all, um, you know what, I'm, that's true. I think there were two different builders in this neighborhood. So the siding on the side of the house is gonna be a wood product siding. The siding on the front of the house uh, will be the cement hardy plank up here, uh, board and batten. I think that's gonna be wood product. The yard is actually kind of cute. And you know, you can see the neighbor is fenced. You could certainly fence this yard. Um, and I don't see that you are gonna have anything here. It looks like somebody's driveway goes back to their house back in the woods there. So, you know, natural contour on the property would say maybe privacy fence here and there, and then connect it to what is likely the neighbor's privacy fence in the back. Um, the green risers indicate where your septic tank is located and likely the drain field is along this flat part in the back. And um, you can see where the fence color changes. So my suspect is that corner right there is your property line. So you would bring a fence back this way. The exterior paint looks in great shape. Uh, to me, the deck looks like it's ready to be pressure washed and a fresh coat of um, stain put on and that's going to help preserve the deck. A um, little bit of damage to the downspout right there. That probably needs to be freshened up a little bit, the downspout. Maybe some debris in the um, gutters. And again, my guess is right here where this fence color changes that that's probably your corner. Those white caps there, that's your drain field. And so, you know, you could bring a uh, privacy fence up the middle here, or maybe you just bring it to this corner and come down. So anyways, um, you know, very plain backyard, plenty of room to improve that and improve the curb appeal. Um, crawl space hatch is here, so it's probably a fairly tall crawl space. And again, the exterior generally looks in great shape. Covered front porch. Um, I will point out that the sheathing is OSB, so that just requires a bit more management. You know, every year you want to check that out and touch up the paint where needed. Um, so there is a little deck up here. Also needs pressure washing and some stain this spring. But there is a covered front stoop and a cement um, so my guess is when they built this, it was just a couple of cement steps and then the homeowners added this deck. Um, we enter in onto a very dark gray brown uh, laminate. Um, sounds like we have a smoke detector whose battery is dying a bit. The very first space to the right is a small den. This may actually count as a bedroom because it has all the things you need it to be a bedroom, which is a door, a window, and a closet. And it is a very small closet. Um, if this were, well, it's on septic, so they may actually be counting it as a, a den. Anyways, it is a small space. Um, I think it makes a great office. But if you needed to, you could put a small fold out in here. Um, anyways, not a big bedroom. This home has electric heating. So um, that is a zoned thermostat and it's gonna be zoned for this heater. And every room is gonna have its own zone and its own thermostat. So powder room. 
So far, everything's in decent shape. Be our garage. All right, nice size garage. Uh, it's actually fairly long. It's not, you know, unusually tall, but it's fairly tall, so you could put some overhead storage. Your water heater is here. I'm certain it's original just because, um, you know, the house isn't that old. And they have a lot of leftover wood flooring here, so maybe they had intended to put in some flooring upstairs. Looks like we're wired for a garage door opener. There is a garage door opener right there, but there's no button. So they may have a remote, but not a button. Okay. All right, living space. It's not a bad space. There's actually good wall space here. Um, interesting, little bit of drywall missing in this zone. I don't know what that's about. Uh, looks like actually that whole strip of um, trim is new. So it's possible this was not the original railing. And so it needs a little drywall repair there. And there's your zoned heater. Here's another one here. And so the thermostat is likely, there you go on the wall there. Coat, coat space, like a, um, oh, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, water main shut off right here. It's like, what is that? And then this should be your pantry. Yeah, nice size pantry. Builder grade cabinets, but they all look in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of stain missing right here and that could be fixed. Countertops are laminate. Electric range. Um, this neighborhood, I don't think there is gas to the neighborhood, but because you're on a raised foundation, it would be very easy to put in a propane tank and run a propane line to have uh, gas cooking if you wanted. There's that deck in the back. Okay. Yeah, I think they were in the midst of replacing trim um, because here along the steps, they don't have trim and up here they do. Um, and the edge is raw and it looks just like primer. It doesn't look like it's been painted. The carpet is in decent shape. It's um, not a builder grade carpet. So here's more of that flooring. The lights up here are soft light, so it's casting a yellow hue. Um, again, this trim looks brand new. And as if it hasn't been painted, it looks just like primer. Nice big linen closet. This is really deep. Okay, top of the stairs. Let's go to the first door on the right. Nice size guest bedroom. Yeah, I'm guessing they put in all new trim in this house because I'm seeing what looks like um, it needs paint. Oh yeah, definitely. Can see that there was a much more lower profile trim here. They put in this higher uh, profile and they just haven't painted it or caulked the edge. This window overlooks the front yard. And it's again, a nice size guest room. Another very nice size guest room. So these rooms could hold a lot of furniture. This room also overlooks the front yard or the front of the house. So laundry closet, those doors we saw in the garage likely go right here. So side-by-side -side hookup, vent fan, uh, overhead lighting. Here's the hallway bathroom. So the shared bathroom. 
tub shower combo. It's a fiberglass insert. Everything's in really pretty good shape. A couple little patches here and here. And again, I think I would, um, you know, finish up the trim that they've started. Then the master is huge, 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 huge room. So tons of space in here. I like the lighting in here better than what's in the hallway. It's much brighter. And then the ensuite, same flooring. You know, this could easily be painted out. Same lighting. And then you have a walk-in closet here, which looks pretty spacious. Yeah, nice size walk-in closet, scuttle access. So again, they started some paint and then they just didn't finish it. Um, this recessed space here could be shelved. That would be a good spot for shoes or anything folded. But very nice, definitely very nice.